Hey, Jason from Bohemia Bees, and here's another quick one for you. We did a video about this probably about two years ago, maybe. Uh, we talked about the heat of the summer and watering your bees. And if you keep as many bees as we do, this is uh, probably two of the three of our yards. We have uh, anywhere from 20 to 25 or so colonies per yard. So we're running probably close to 50 colonies here on the eastern shore of Maryland. And in the as you get late spring, early summer, it gets pretty hot. The bees are looking for water. And one thing you can do to help try to keep the bees uh, hydrated, because they need water as much as they need nectar and they need pollen. Uh, and you don't want them sort of bothering your neighbor's pools. So chlorine, um, any, any saucer with dirty water in it, they like as well, like streams, if you're local to a stream, if you don't have a stream close to your apiary, you know, within 50 or to 100 yards, they look for water sources. So the bird baths, and um, anything else that you have, uh, pools and such. So one thing we did a couple years back that worked really well for us is that we put a series of buckets, five gallon buckets spread around our apiary. And, uh, and to ensure that the bees didn't drown, naturally you gotta have something for them to land on uh, or otherwise they'll land in open, open water. So we actually use wine corks. So let's show what that looks like. Okay, so this is about 500 wine corks in a tub uh, we got these used offline. They weren't that expensive. You can buy them new, but we got them used. And what we did was we sealed the inside of the tub, let it dry really good so that it wouldn't leak. Um, and then we uh, filled it with water. And if you notice the blue tint, that's actually blue play sand on the bottom. So play sand is naturally, you know, non-toxic sand that they've uh, created uh, for kids to play with. So we put them on the bottom and let it sit down, settle down there, and then we fill it with water. The reason why we did that is so the bees will naturally fly over, see the blue color, and then land on the corks to drink. Looks like a nice, clean drink of water. Now that naturally would become muddy. We have another one that we've been running for a while now over here, and the bees love it. You can see, we just put that in the mouth. That's why there's no bees on it. But if you look right here, the bees are loving this source of water. So it's just another thing you can do in your apiary if your bees, you, know, you want to keep it at least maybe 20, 20, 30, 20, 30 yards away from your uh, hives. You don't want to put it right up on your hives. Bees will not eat or drink where they poop. So when they do their cleansing flights out of the colonies, they'll usually you know poop right there in front of the hive. A lot of people try to nest their hives in big wildflower meadows and put you know bird baths or little things, drinks of water right next to the hive. If it's if it's syrup or honey, yeah, they'll they'll drink that but uh, likely water, they'll just move on and try to find something a little bit further away. Uh, they'll stretch their wings 20, 30 yards away and then meet up with one of these few. Now I'm standing in a patch of uh, wild clover and hairy vetch and a few other uh, things that are just emerging out here. Um, you can see that they are pretty close to the colonies, but um, we have other colonies and other yards that are nearby that will come to this as well. The main point of these two tubs and this wildflower is to keep them out of our pool over there and our neighbor's pool way over there. So that's how we do that uh, little trick you can uh, put in your apiary if you manage a lot of bees. Usually when you have two or three bee colonies, you know, a small saucer of water is probably fine. But when you've got as many as we have, you got to have good water sources. Hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel. Share with your friends as uh, we continue to learn here at Bohemia Apiary where beekeeping to us is more than a hobby. It's an obsession. Thanks for watching.